Six guy, he a visionary. Hey, 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 has 32-year-old Aaron Logan said. While Saucy Santana and academics go back at it, y'all should have been worried about this gay retail thieving addict. Frank Mosley Jr., a.k.a. Lil Frank, Milwaukee reckless driver, accused of killing Aaron Mogensen. Frank Mosley Jr. is the 20-year-old Milwaukee man accused of being a reckless driver who killed Aaron Mogensen. The 32-year-old woman who was killed at the intersection of Capitol Drive and North 100th Street Thursday morning. There's a rapper from Milwaukee who goes by the name Lil Frank. Court records show one of Mosley's aliases as Lil Frank. Online photos of Lil Frank closely resemble Mosley. Now, here we go. This is where it gets interesting. Frank Mosley is on active community supervision according to state records. He is a serial retail thief in 2020. According to court records, he was given a deferred prosecution agreement for felony retail theft in Kenosha County. CCAP says he went by the aliases of Lil Frank Neal and Frank Neal. In 2020 in Kenosha County, he was convicted of misdemeanor retail theft. According to records, he received 18 months probation in the 2021 case and charged of obstructing an officer was dismissed. The same year, he had a second retail theft case also out of Kenosha County. He received 18 months probation on that one too, but it ran concurrent with the first charge. In 2021, in the most recent case out of Milwaukee County, he pleaded guilty to felony retail theft. He received three years probation, 35 days in house of correction, and 75 hours of community service. Court allows expungement upon successful completion of probation if the defendant is working a minimum of 20 hours per week, has obtained a valid driver's license, and has completed three college credits, the court records say. Aaron Malgerson was identified by the Milwaukee County Medical Examiner's Office as the innocent woman who was killed by the reckless driver. Police say the suspect was in a stolen car at the time and fled the scene. The crash occurred at 11 a.m. on November 2nd, 2023, according to the police chief officer, James McGillis. The medical examiner report says that Malgerson's ex-husband, Alex Malgerson, was present at the scene because her father received an SOS notification from her phone. This is a 32-year-old female who was the driver of a vehicle that was hit by another vehicle that reportedly ran a red light. She died while on scene in a med unit. The medical examiner's report says the posted speed limit of the area of the incident was 35 miles per hour and the striking vehicle was estimated to be traveling at a rate of 100 miles per hour. The striking vehicle ran a red light. The motor vehicle accident resulted from a vehicle which had been fleeing from the police department, striking defendant's vehicle. They arrived at 1045 hours in Wudawasa. I don't know how to say that because police department notified MF that the engine 22 Aaron was pulseless and not breathing, reports say. Learning heartbreaking new details in the case of an innocent woman killed in a hit and run crash yesterday. The victim being identified as 32 year old Aaron Mogensen. According to the medical examiner, an autopsy shows Mogensen was approximately seven to eight weeks pregnant. It comes as Milwaukee police say they've arrested a 20 year old man who caused the crash. He was seen on video running from the wreck yesterday at 100th and Capitol. The suspect, we're told, was in a stolen car and was fleeing from Tosa police when the crash happened. Charges against the suspect could be filed in the coming days. Let me say this, bro. I don't believe his sexuality had anything to do with nothing. So I won't even put that on there because that'll make it zero sense, right? But what I will say is this, man. It's a hell of a thing to sit up here in a 35-mile-an-hour zone and keep on speeding and keep on speeding and think that you wouldn't hit anything. Now, let me say this, bro, because one of the things that, that happens across the country is they say for the police, bro, if you go at a certain amount of speed, slow it down so that the driver starts to slow it down. Say what it is, TV. You will catch him eventually. Y'all got helicopters. Y'all got surveillance cameras. What's the point of all of this? Honestly. Now, I'm not taking 
anything away from the person who actually struck and killed a pregnant woman. When they catch you, man, whatever you get is whatever you get. If you never see the light of day, bro, that's on you. You killed two people. You killed an unborn child and you killed the unborn child's mother. To be fair, you really killed three people because you killed a whole entire legacy that could have been born. With that being said, bro, get a fucking job. You try to exploit your sexuality. It ain't working. Let, let me help y'all out real quick. If you're a gangster rapper, you have to have a gangster persona. You have to have a little bit of street in you. You have to learn how to throw up hand signs or something like that or be from a block, rep a gang, something. There has to be something to it. It can't just be you're a rapper. And then on top of that, not only do you have to have the streets with you, you still got to go get the girls. You still got to go have a look. You still have to have the money because if you're a gangster rapper, you're supposed to still have money. You can't be broke. And if you're broke, you got to be grimy. And if you're grimy, you got to look like that, which means you got to have an extensive jail history, not one of probation. So when it comes to all you LGBTQIA plus singers and rappers, you have to be able to dress, dance, and entertain. It can't just be, be because of your sexuality. This thing was out here stealing and stealing and stealing. And this falls on America. I hate a thief. I hate looking at, I mean, at, at videos of these people doing retail theft. I can't stand it personally. Now look what happened. There's going to be a couple of things that happen behind this. One, they're going to increase the jail time, which they should, for people doing retail theft. Two, they're going to make sure that police officers understand if you go into a neighborhood with a high-speed pursuit, slow it the hell down. Y'all got dogs. Y'all got bikes. Y'all got helicopters. Y'all got all these communication devices where you can tell, oh, this person can't go nowhere. They can't be anywhere or anything like that. And for the, for the dude who ran, Lil Frank, do I think he intended to kill a pregnant woman? No. But just because the consequences of your actions are not what you wanted doesn't mean you're free from all your actions. It's called worst case scenario. And that's what happened here, bro. You niggas don't think. Y'all don't ever think of the worst case scenario. Why? Because you honestly think you're going to get away with it. And